Finishing in third place, Centennial. We heard third, Centennial, and we just got super excited. We were standing right next to Willow Canyon, and their coach just reached over and shook my hand, and I shook her hand, and then they said... Our second place finisher, Willow Canyon. We heard that second place was called. Everything just started coming out. Like, it was all the hard work and dedication that we've been seeing. Like, it was basically pure joy. That means the Division One and Two co-ed cheer, state champions, Gila Ridge. So it took a while for it to set in, and I think it's because this, they, they've never been as good as they were on Saturday. So if we would have taken fourth, I would have been proud. Obviously taking first, I'm more proud, but they, they just showed up, and they did so well that it took me until the drive to my house on Saturday night for it to really sink in. What did we just do? It's the first time that we've ever brought a state title um, for Spirit Line to Yuma. Any kind of a title at the high school level as far as AIA goes. I think our biggest rival was Centennial High School just because they were the state champions last year and we've kind of always looked up to them because they're so big, they're double the size of us. Hundreds of kids to pick from. We have uh, the amount of kids you see or the amount of kids that try out. We barely even cut any. Five, seven, one. The amount, three, like the, the amount of work five, these kids put in. I mean, every single day they show up, they work hard, and they they do what we ask, and they work really hard. We break every practice by saying family, and they really act as one. They they support each other where they need support. They help each other where they need help. They just are a really great group of kids that work hard and wanted it. We have a lot of talent in this town. We have a lot of very dedicated coaches. So we're hoping that this is just the start of something that can be really big in Yuma.